done before, and that is do a collage on my next journal. So I am almost done with my current pocket size voyage term. I just have a couple more pages, and this will be the next one that I have. This one will be volume 38, so that's kind of exciting. Um, let's see. So I have a bunch of these uh, old Arizona Highways magazines from 1962. This is base. This is all the months in 1962. I don't know even how to approach this, to be honest. I think I'll just start like picking out things that I would like to test out. I actually think to start, I would like to find a canyon picture. Oh, that's beautiful too. So I think what I'd like to do is have, find a nice sky to put in the background here. And then I'm, or lower this a little bit, get some mountains and then sky. That, that could be a really great sky. Might also be really fun to do a black and white mountain range if I could find one big enough. Wow, God, I love that picture. This looks like it's out in the Painted Desert area. I love this picture so much. And I have a friend that he does um, dam tours where in which he bicycles by himself to these really remote dams and he'll go out for like a couple days or a week however long it takes for him to bike to these locations and some of them are really hard to get to so I kind of want to save this picture to give to him because I know he'd really appreciate it but but it's also just really beautiful that could, that could kind of look cool in the foreground just this little like black and white strip Especially if I cut it off right here and then kind of like crop it like that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I might do that. I'm going to cut it out just to see. Sometimes you just have to like get an actual visualization of a thing to make a good decision. <laughs> see how much space I have, of course, but that could be really cool. I feel like there's, it's really busy, so it's hard, it's a little difficult to distinguish the dam from the cliffs, so let's see, maybe I can find something else to go in between. It would also be really cool to have this in the foreground. I have had these magazines for so long now and I originally bought them to collage with but I had just never I was uh, I chickened out essentially and I was so worried about hacking into them but they've been sitting around not doing anything not serving any purpose so I finally realized it would be a greater honor to them to actually use them, even if it's in a new way, than to just let them sit. It could work. Still not entirely set upon it. Ugh, 
love this picture too. That's another one I need to give to my friend. So if I use this, everything is very like weighted over here in this corner. It would be kind of cool to have like a really big cactus or maybe a yucca standing tall. I could even, there's some yuccas here. What a pain in the butt to cut out though. <laughs> but that would look so cool if they're like coming in. Hmm. I wish there were more pictures of animals. I would love to have like a giant mountain goat. I think that would look so appropriate. I suppose I could sketch something. I don't know. So I feel like I couldn't really plan out the next step until I actually glued some things on. That is what I'm doing now. You know, in the end, I might actually just keep this really simple. Maybe I could find like a flower and then maybe up here I'll put the, the volume number. Okay, see, this is helpful. It's a small space to work with, so you don't wanna like, or at least I don't wanna overcrowd it, which I think might happen. So let me look for some flowers. I just had a thought. I don't know if it would look too... Oh, okay, here's what it looks like. So I have, I actually have a little tiny sticky sticker printer that I can connect to my phone. So um, maybe that's what I can do. Let's see, because I have lots of phone pictures of flowers. Okay, so I think, I think what I can do is cut this out and this might end up being really perfect. This is such a local journal cover, I love it. All the pictures from the Arizona Highway magazines, photographs taken in Arizona. And then this one is taken by me on a trail just not that long, far from my house. I really love the space that I live in. I am really, I, the desert is just a part of my soul at this point and I don't know if it will ever release me. <laughs> it still feels a little busy but I think I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it and make that commitment. And then the last thing I'd like to do is maybe type up volume 38 on my little typewriter. But before I do that, I'm going to trim off this excess so I can get a good sense. Maybe I should, maybe I should use this, I don't know.
there. I wish, hmm, I almost want to like use it with just a little bit of this flower, kind of like a sun directing down into the landscape and then putting the volume number right across there. I'm gonna try that. It just doesn't hurt to try. There's something like, I feel so worried about cutting the cover, but that's silly. These are all cut up into now at this point. I feel like there was a smaller magenta flower that I saw in one of the catalogs or magazines. I'm just gonna try this one. It's a really big flower. I do wish it was a little bit smaller. Cause I don't wanna take up too much of the sky. I really like the sky. I think that's going to work, okay. I don't wanna cover up the peak, so we try to, but I do want some of the center of the flower showing so that you can tell it's a flower. Let me go type up the volume number. can't decide. It's funny how something so little can be so difficult to place. I guess I'm gonna put it there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. So something I've seen people do is put um, tape on top of the cover so that it stays, but I, I kind of don't want to do that just because I like that most of the images are matte. They have a nice matte finish. Um, and I don't want it to look all glossy. And besides, it is going to be in my traveler's notebook. So as I'm traveling around with it, I don't imagine a lot of damage will be done to it. I think it'll be, I think it'll be fine. I just kind of want to see how it's going to look. Now I like look at this other journal of mine and think, ooh, you're so boring. You're so generic. You need a custom cover too. <gasps> oh, <laughs> this makes so much of a difference. Look at, oh, that's really fun. Okay, let me just pop it in here. Cause you know, it's fun to see, even though I'm not ready to move in yet. Probably will move in very soon. I have, yeah, I don't have many pages left. And then when I open it up, oh my goodness, that's so exciting. <gasps> so I ended up really just not being happy with that flower and the way the volume printing came out. So I went ahead and ripped it off and then put in some new sky to cover up the damage that was done. And I'm much happier with it now. I kind of like the sky being layered like that as well. I think that's a cool, gives it a cool effect. And then inspired, I decided to go ahead and collage the journal that I am nearly done with. And I really like the way this one turned out. It's very subtle, but if you can see, this line of the mountains is the same as this line here. And that's because this sky was a part of this picture. And then I put a different sky in the background. And so I really liked how that turned out as well. So there they are. I think this is the beginning of something new and exciting.